nestled within the prestigious Royal Palm Yacht and Country Club in the heart of Boca Raton, Florida, sits this one-of-a-kind waterfront estate. Presented by none other than the renowned David Roberts of Royal Palm Properties, this exceptional home features six bedrooms, nine bathrooms, and over 9,500 square feet of living space. We begin this tour in the grand foyer. Hey everyone, welcome inside this foyer that will leave you in awe. Up above are the double height tall ceilings, and you'll see up there a gold plate, and coming down from that are those Terzani light fixtures. Now that's just the icing on the cake for a grand foyer like this. But also down below is the Dish Chateau premium oak hardwood flooring, and we're gonna follow that into the dining area. Now this dining room is super bright, coming from not only this Terzani light fixture, but also the floor to ceiling window over here that peers out into the water fountain. Back in here, this table is pretty nice as well. Yeah, do you know what? It's quite spacious to fit all your family and friends. And there's also a really nice little bar countertop at the back there, so you can have some ice or beverages waiting. And speaking of beverages, across from here, check out this temperature controlled wine and champagne room. You're gonna be able to store all your favorite bottles. And I love that the designer went with a gold feature here with the tinted glass. Making our way through the grand foyer and past the powder room, we're gonna enter into the bright and airy main living space. Okay, now the first thing that we gotta talk about coming in here is this white monolith marble fireplace wall. It's just something else. The upholstered corners are pretty cool too. Did you also notice the illuminated lights here? Ooh, that's a good touch. You know what also is a good touch? Is this interior design work. Now this couch, I can just imagine chilling here all day, putting on the fireplace, maybe looking out the floor to ceiling, sliding doors out into my pool. It's a vibe. And you look pretty comfy right now. I can sit here for quite a while. Or I could also sit in that other lounge space. That's also pretty cool. Okay, let's go check that one out. Let's go check that out. Around the corner on this side, that upholstery continues on this entire wall. And right in the middle is a big TV. So maybe I would be lounging in this area instead of that one because you know I love watching my TV. Well, if you're gonna have a big TV, you're gonna have a big couch. Oh, and you know what? I had to do the couch test. I had to come and sit down. <laughs> this is a nice vibe. And you know what? One thing about this room is like the illuminated lights up above in the ceiling. It just gives like a really nice ambience, kind of like the Illuminate lights did over there, but like times that by 10. True, and I do see some speakers up there too. Surround sound system, I mean, you have to have it here. But we gotta continue on before I get too cozy and go and check out this kitchen. This kitchen is perfectly placed and has a super sleek design. Right in the middle is this large island that has the white marble countertops that flows right over. Like the bar stool so you can chill and have some food on the countertop there. Oh, it's perfect. Serving some drinks, kind of hanging out. And if you also notice, that white marble actually extends over here to these countertops and backsplash. And right in the middle is your wolf stovetop. This is probably one of the simplest designs I've seen at the stovetop, but also the cleanest looking. I know, and that's the thing, is like, you gotta love having a clean kitchen, where a lot of kitchens are usually busy. And if you also look, I love that they still though added a nice little pop with this wood grain that also extends over to this wall, where you have the fridge and freezer, and right in the middle are more of those wolf appliances. Now, I know how you said like, you like to keep it clean and simple in this kitchen. I almost don't wanna cook here and get it dirty, because it just looks like a piece of art almost. So thankfully, they put in this butler's kitchen. So this is where you're gonna be doing all the cooking and getting it all nice and dirty, but you still have those high-end wolf appliances, tons of room to do prep, put some dishes in there, and of course, you have your pantry here. But continuing on down here, down this hall is the laundry room, an entrance to the first of two garages, and behind me here is access to that dining room, and this is the champagne wine room. Heading back out this way, we now want to bring your attention across here to this large breakfast nook area. It's super bright because you're getting tons of light from those windows. 
and further on that way is a powder room that's conveniently located because it leads out to your outdoor dining area. Now that we're done with this side, we're gonna continue on, head past that elevator, and go and check out this club room. Now with a club room like this, you are bound to become the number one host of your friend group, or quite honestly, the whole neighborhood. And if you do have a lot of friends, you got this big U-shaped couch. Oh, you're gonna be able to fit so many people in here, whether you're watching the game, some movies, or whether you are having some drinks. Speaking of drinks. A club room like this deserves a bar like this. I mean, this is so elegant. I love that they went with a totally different design than the rest of the home where we're seeing the whites and all those light colors. And they went with the black and gold. Shelving unit creates a lot of depth. And you know what? That's the perfect place to put all your favorite bottles, your favorite glasses. It can almost be like a whole art wall. Once you've made your cocktails, you're gonna bring those over to this circular table. We're gonna be playing some cards, maybe some poker or blackjack with all your friends. Blackjack, oh, you don't even wanna tempt me on that one. Oh, I know, I think we gotta play later. Leaving the club room, we're now heading back through the front foyer. We're down here, there's the entrance to the second garage. And there's also a secondary bedroom that has a full ensuite bathroom and a walk-in closet. And now we gotta head up this staircase, but we first gotta talk about it. I mean, look at how beautiful this glass siding is with the gold on top. This is just something else that really adds to this grand foyer. And of course, you got this stone leading all the way up to the ceiling. Now this is so unique. We don't see this that often in a modern home like this. It almost has that like old European, maybe Italy, yeah, you know, yeah, vibe yeah. to it. And I really like that they went with this. All right, let's go. Let's go. At the top of the stairs, we're gonna head over here and check out the first secondary bedroom on this upper level. Now this is a very well done secondary bedroom. First gotta talk about just how bright it is in here from these sliding doors that open up onto your private patio. I mean, look at out there actually with those like gray planks going in between and on the side there. It's a really cool design. It does also help with some shading when you're out there. You know what, it does. And that kind of reminds me of the fluted headboard here. Ooh, you know, the dot design, the fluted design is really in style right now. You know what else is in style? Your hat. Well, of course, but this ensuite bathroom. So this ensuite bathroom has a floating vanity, it's super bright, also has a large mirror and the walk-in glass and closed shower. Just off the bedroom is this upper lounge area. Now this is the perfect spot to sit down in these swirly chairs, put a big TV on that wall, and just hang out. Once again, you're sitting on chairs. Oh, and I'm telling you, <laughs> like these chairs are so comfy and they spin too. And the interior design work, like we said, is next level. But I mean, like, look at the design of these coffee tables. Yeah, I like how the low they are, so you don't have to like reach up to get your drink. Oh, you know, I didn't even actually think of that. Pretty convenient. It is. Past the lounge area, we're now entering the next secondary bedroom. <laughs> done with this side of the upper level, we're gonna walk across this hall that actually is open to below into this grand foyer once again. I feel like we just can't stop talking about that foyer. Definitely is a centerpiece to this home. Oh, for sure it is. But let's continue on further down the hall and around this corner. We're gonna pass by the elevator and a little lounge area. We're gonna pass by the large laundry room. And further down this hall to my left over here is another secondary bedroom that has a full ensuite bathroom and a walk-in closet. We're gonna head to this side and go walk into this secondary bedroom. Now look at just how bright this is. The sun is literally beaming in through these sliding doors in this room. And I mean, I can just imagine waking up here, walking onto that patio, looking at those palm trees and the blue skies. Be something else. Pretty sure every room has had so much natural light in it. And I feel like we keep talking about it, but how can we not? And we also keep talking about are these beautiful ensuite bathrooms. This one too has a floating vanity, but what it also has is the standalone tub. I mean, that's a pretty big tub and you also got a nice window view there. And there's a glass and closed shower, so I showering, still get those views. Now that we're done with the secondary bedrooms, it's time to check out this grand primary bedroom. Now, 
this primary bedroom honestly feels like we're at a really high-end hotel because not too often do you have this big and elegant of a living space in your own bedroom. Yeah, and I haven't seen this big of a headboard in your bedroom. It takes up the entire wall. The upholstery literally starts over here, all the way over there. And you gotta talk about how much space there is for this bed. You could even fit a bigger bed if you really wanted to. And what you could also do is fill that patio up with a ton of patio furniture. Like this entire wall is lighting glass doors. You have such a beautiful view out there. And you're gonna be able to enjoy those views in this first of two secondary bedrooms. Now this one is filled with white marble on the floors, the walls, and on the floating vanity. Yeah, and that tub behind you is something else too. Ooh, you're gonna be able to enjoy those views while you're in the tub, and you'll also be able to enjoy it in this glass enclosed shower. It's so big in here, the acoustics, it's almost like you got Mariah Carey reverb on right now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I certainly can't hear that. It's because it's so huge, and it actually extends into this walk-in closet. The design in here is so flawless. The wall coverings here have a chevron print. And I mean, look at that centerpiece there with that interesting shaped mirror. That's a great mirror, but you also have a great island and the lighting's pretty nice in here as well. I love that the shelves are illuminated. So whenever you have your favorite bags, maybe some shoes up here, it's gonna look like an apartment store. This is the second ensuite bathroom in this primary suite, but I'm getting the vibes of like a hangout man cave area, no? This is probably one of the coolest ensuites I've ever seen. <laughs> this is for sure cool. It's completely opposite from the other one we were just in, but I love right in the center, you have the black gloss island. You also have a lounge space with these red chairs, but I mean, come on, a floating vanity with the gray countertops. Now I said ensuite, but we're also in the closet as well. So it's a dual use. Yeah, it's dual use. They combined it all, which I think is super convenient. And there's also a really large shower on that side that, you're kidding me, what? That goes around? No, but come check this out. What is it? This is the law. This is the biggest water closet I've ever seen. <laughs> Look at how big this is. What? <laughs> you imagine doing your business in this room? This is like the size of most condos in cities and this is where they go to do their business. That's awesome. <laughs> now that we're done with the inside of the home, we're gonna make our way through the sliding doors to the outdoor retreat. a lot of lounging on this tour but i think out here is my favorite spot it is but it's pretty hot oh it's hot but i'm at least glad that this is a covered patio so we're in the shade but i mean what's also great about this backyard i mean look at all the green space back there to play some yard games maybe let your dog run around if you got one but i mean this l-shaped pool oh i can just imagine right now jumping in there swimming some laps or even going over to the hot tub area it definitely is a massive pool you could do laps but you could also dance in this big space over here right that's my first thought i was like this is right now a dining area but you can move this table over you get the surround sound system going you even get a dj and this could be the perfect dance floor on that note this is the end of the tour i think that's the end of it we hope you all enjoyed this tour as much as we did. Now we wanna give a big shout out to David Roberts with Royal Palm Properties for allowing us to come in and film their listing. If you want more details on this house, head to the description below where we'll have links for all that. My name's Tyler, that's Jaden. We're with Propertygrams. Now make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so you can stay tuned for the latest tours. But enough of that, we'll see you on the next one.